Welcome to the Friday Gridiron Preview. I am Dr. Jack. We're at Sublette High School. We're joined by the head football coach, Matt Fox. Coach, welcome. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. You have your first game of the season tonight versus the Southwestern Heights Mustangs. Last year, they kind of got the better of you. Are you looking forward to some revenge this year? We are. You know, last year the game definitely didn't go as planned. We had a lot of injuries pop up last year. I think we lost five starters in that first game. And, uh, you know, we're changing things up around here. We're going to slow down the offense. We're going away from the spread formation, going back to the eye. We're going to work on uh, moving the ball on the ground and eating up the clock and controlling the game that way. Coach, this is a game every year that's just a little bit down the highway from you, and a lot of your athletes know each other. What are some matchups that you're excited about this year versus previous years? You know, I, across the board, I think we match up fairly well with Heights this year. Um, they got some big guys up front this year. We got some big guys with Jesse Garrettson. Got a couple newcomers, a freshman, Tyson Lundblade, you know, up front. Uh, we're going to match up well with them there. Uh, their linebackers are going to be aggressive. Our linebackers, uh, Jamel Roberson, Izzy De La Rosa, they're going to bring the heat. You know, hopefully, hopefully we can stop them, stop their run game. And uh, Izzy and Jamel, they're also our fullback and running back. Hopefully they get our running game established. So in addition to the running game, let's talk about the other side of the ball. Defensively, uh, who do you have that you're really looking forward to some slobber knocking? Uh, those linebackers, uh, Izzy De La Rosa, Jamel Roberson, those guys like to fly around. They like to put their nose in, on the football. They're going to be our guys to watch. On the line, we got a... Uh, Jesse Garrettson, you know, he'll be our strong side end. Uh, he's aggressive. He's a big kid. He moves well at 6'5", you know, 250 pounds. He'll be fun to watch. If we can, if we can stop their run game and make them pass, then uh, that's when our, uh, our other guys can take control and, and uh, lock down that pass game. Coach, as you think about this game and as you think about what it means as you begin a season, how do you prepare your athletes to kind of settle in and get ready to play this first game and kind of get some of those jitters out of the way? Well, you know, our, our numbers are a little bit lower this year than they have been in the past. And we have, you know, 23, 24 kids when we have everybody at practice. So everybody's getting a lot of reps. Everybody's getting to know the new offense and, and getting those reps on defense. So I think we might be more prepared this year than we have been in the past. I was talking with some of your athletes earlier, and I asked them what's the hardest thing you've made them do in practice so far. They all said practice has been a breeze. How does that happen? <laughs> I have no idea. They, there were enough of them on the sideline uh, throwing up those first couple of days. So I guess, I guess it was hard enough at some point. So, All right, Coach, let's bring in some of your seniors and talk about uh, them. Talk about the, who they are, their position, and what you're looking for and what you're looking forward to with them. All right. Well, right now we have uh, Jeremy Ornelas. He's our uh, quarterback. In the past, he's played some receiver and defensive back for us. But uh, this year, uh, we're excited to just have him focus on quarterback, give him a rest on uh, defense. We've had some younger kids uh, get a little better and uh, so we can give him a break on defense. But uh, Jeremy's done a good job at taking a leadership role early this summer in the weight room. And uh, that's kind of what I'm looking forward to is seeing what kind of a leader he can be out on the football field. So, Jeremy, you get to play quarterback. That's kind of the premier position, but you have to come off of defense is where you get to go and smash people. Uh, what are you most excited about about playing quarterback and, and maybe not being on the defensive side? Um, I'm excited to see what our run game can do. I mean, we got uh, Jamel Robertson as our running back and Izzy Delos as a fullback, and it's a new offense, so I'm excited to see what this offense can do, and hopefully we can move the ball and uh, run the clock out and hopefully get some wins. What kind of confidence do you have in your offensive line to keep you from getting murdered? Oh, I got a lot of confidence. We got Jesse Gerritsen, one of our big guys, and a bunch of other uh, freshmen who have stepped up, like Tyson. Um, he's real big, and he's played a big part in our offense, and I think with, the, with them two on our line, we'll be just fine. All right, Coach, your next senior. All right, we got uh, Quentin Gonzalez here. Uh, Quentin's been a, his fourth year now as a wide receiver defensive back for us and so he knows uh, the routes that we want to run he knows how to stock block he knows how to get it done out there on the edge for us and uh, we're moving him back to safety this year uh, Quentin had a, uh, a shoulder injury a couple years ago and we just want him to uh, uh, he, 
take that leadership role on the defense at the safety position and and uh, help us out that way. But he's done a great job. He's been in the weight room, you know, all summer uh, rehabbing that shoulder, getting ready to go. So um, I'm excited to see what he can do on both sides of the ball this year. I think uh, when we get that run game established, he's going to be the guy that we're going to look to pass to. So I'm, I'm anxious to see what we can do there. Quentin, receiver, safety, which one's more exciting to you and which one uh, do you think you're better at? I'm more excited about being a receiver because I'm quick off the ball, quick on my feet, and my speed will help me. So when I'm running routes, I could break some ankles, hopefully, and get open and catch the ball. Now, being a receiver and then playing safety, does that give you any advantage in terms of knowing what the routes are that your opponent's running? Yeah. Um, as soon as the ball snapped, um, my first steps are backwards. So I, I see everything, you know, peripheral vision, any routes. I, don't, I know what's going on. That's interesting. Your first step is backwards when the ball is snapped. That would be mine, too, but because I would be scared of some of the rest of you. <laughs> now, let's get another senior in here. You have three seniors, and we'll bring the last one in. Here we have Andy McIntyre. Andy uh, took a year absence from the team. Uh, last year he didn't play, but uh, we got him back this year, and we're excited about it because Andy's a tough kid. Uh, he's a rodeo, cowboy kind of guy, rode, rode a bronc in the in the county fair this year. So, you know, we're glad to have him back because he's, he just has that toughness about him. Uh, Andy's playing tight end and linebacker for us. And uh, I'm excited to see what Andy can do on the offensive side of the ball because, uh, you know, with our style of an offense this year, when we get into the red zone, we're going to be looking towards our tight end uh, to get it into the end zone. And, uh, you know, on defense, he's a tough kid, so it's just going to come natural to him. So, Andy, uh, I don't know, rodeoing, would you rather wrestle a steer or tackle a running back? Probably ra rather a tackle running back, honestly. <laughs> and, and why is that? Because uh, you don't got to worry about getting stuck with a horn. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what are you excited about about tonight's game? When you think about playing Southwestern Heights, the Mustangs, obviously students you know well, what excites you about this particular game? Or just we've been beat in the past, and I mean, our whole team, we just get that gump to want to show them who's boss. All right. So that's Andy. Coach, uh, you have one more senior that hasn't yet uh, kind of gotten into the fold yet. Tell us about him. Uh, Andres Montoya, he's uh, on his way back from Mexico right now, and he's our uh, kicker and another tight end and linebacker for us. But uh, he's really our special teams guy. I mean, uh, he, he's our kicker, he's our punter, he's our field goal kicker. Uh, we're excited to get him back so that we can we can uh, not go for two every time, and uh, you know we can pin people deep on the kickoffs and and kick some field goals. We're excited to see his leg strength this year. Uh, last year he. He could kick some long field goals, 35, 40 yards plus if he needed to, uh, barring that we gave him good protection. All right. We're joined by Coach Matt Fox, the head coach from Sublette High School. Coach, good luck tonight. Thank you. Welcome back. I'm joined with the Southwestern Heights High School head football coach, Matt Skripsik. Coach, what do you think about tonight's game? Um, you know, Sublette, they've got a great group of kids, a lot of good young kids, returning starters. Uh, they are solid up front. they got great size, got good speed. Uh, number three, their fullback, and then their uh, single back on the spread. He's a solid ball player. Coach, last year, um, this was the beginning of a pretty successful season for you uh, as you won this contest 54-12. Uh, to 12. Uh, What are you expecting from tonight's contest? Uh, it uh, That last year's score, it was kind of a fluke, and this year, you know, they're uh, really focused. They got another year under their belt. Coach Fox does a great job with them up there, and it's going to be a very tight ball game. Coach, talk about uh, some of the matchups that you're excited to see actually happen on the field because you've seen some things on the practice field, but now we're actually moving to the lights. Yeah, uh, you're always curious how your kids are going to perform under the lights. And so uh, I'm really curious about how our O-line and D-line are really going to react. Uh, I'm curious of how our uh, new offense with our running backs and our quarterbacks turn out. It's interesting because you talk about new offenses, and it seems like this is the year to change a lot of offenses around the area. Uh, what is it as you move from season to season that encourages you to think maybe this is time to make a change? 
Well, uh, ours is not a big change. We went from a regular traditional double wing to a shotgun double wing, so we could get our quarterback more involved. And it uh, it opened up where we now have a running aspect with the quarterback where in the traditional double wing, it was tough to find him carries. And we just want to utilize our quarterback's abilities a little bit more. So that's where the it's set. I say it's a new offense, but the, our O-line hasn't changed. Our running backs hadn't changed. The formation will look a little bit different, but overall it's the exact same as what we ran last year. Now, Coach, you graduated a whole bunch of seniors last year and a whole lot of talent. How have you been able to reload some of those key positions? Well, yeah, we did. We graduated 12 seniors, and that's huge. Any time you lose that many seniors off of a 3A school, it's big. Uh, but, you know, young kids just buying in, working hard for the program, doing the little things over the summer, and really coming to work here in the preseason has been huge for us. Now, Coach, talk a little bit about what Friday night football means to the Plains Kismet area in general. Uh, you know, just like every small town in western Kansas and even at eastern Kansas, that is your community. Whenever uh, you're at the games on Friday, that's where everybody is. That's where the whole community shows up, and the community support is huge. And that's what I love about football, I love about basketball, is it's such a community-oriented sporting event. And that's what brings our communities together. And Coach, how has your uh, summer weight program been, and how are your guys looking as far as being in, in shape for this week one? Um, you know, you always question, did you run them enough? Did you do enough over the summer to be strong enough? And, you know, I feel like every coach feels like, man, if I could have only did more. If I had more practice time, I could have did those extra sprints. I could have done this. But, you know, we, uh, we go out there and we look at this first game as just a learning deal. And, yes, we do want to try to be the best at the end of the game. But the more important is get our kids out there and let them compete, let them come off the field healthy. And and hopefully the other team's healthy, but yet we just we go out there and compete. Now, of course, you're a coach. You said, I'm sure we didn't do enough. The players would say, come on, coach, that's enough. Trust me. Yeah, especially whenever our uh, OLs and our tight ends had to uh, – wheelbarrow crawl for uh, 80 yards. Uh, I'm sure they said they've, they've done enough. And um, our running backs, whenever they were doing all their skill positions with the wheel and stuff like that, they're going to say, wow, man, coach, we conditioned our butts off. But, you know, as a coach, you're always like, hey, if we're in better shape, then we're, we're going to be around in the fourth quarter. And that's where it all starts. You know, Coach, talking about some of your players, let's uh, let's meet some of them. Have you tell us a little bit about them and what you expect from them this year? Uh, yeah, some of our kids that, uh, you know, we're really relying heavy on is uh, our senior tailback in Peyton LaPointe. Uh, you know, he had a very successful year in the traditional double wing at the B-back, and so we move him back to tailback, and hopefully they build off of that. Our uh, quarterback has uh, got three games experience under his belt as a starter, as a freshman, and so now he's a sophomore. And so we kind of opened up and tried to use his skill set a little bit more with Efren Mercado. Uh, we have Pepo Jimenez, Logan Cox, Eric Garcia, Kenny Garcia, um, uh, Omar Perez, Juan Garcia, and uh, Jesse Alvera on the line. And those all have great experience coming back out of all those kids. Um, we only bring back Omar Perez that does not have any starting experience and Logan Cox. Um, and then, then Kenny Garcia stepped in this year and he's really picked it up. And, uh, you know, what's awesome is my tight ends are sophomores, my left tackle's a sophomore, and the rest of them are uh, – juniors so you know we got a young line but an aggressive line they're they're go-getters uh our wing and um haziel martinez he got some uh playing time last year and a lot of mop-up roles but a lot of quality minutes during key games so he's got some experience um then we have uh, brandon gonzalez at the uh, fullback position that you know he kind of got thrusted into that but yet yeah, he's doing a great job Coach, how many seniors do you have this year, and how important is the leadership they provide both in the locker room and on the sideline? 
uh, we we now uh, we have five seniors on the team, and uh, yeah, leadership is huge, and that's where you know not only our seniors are leading, but we have our juniors that are returning starters and Letterman that are stepping up, and our leadership is a lot better this year. They uh, they tell each other, you know, hey, this this could be a great year, this could be a breakout year, and so they've really stayed motivated during the week, and that really helps out preparing for tonight's game. We're joined by. Peyton LaPointe, he is a player here at Southwestern Heights for the Mustangs. And uh, Peyton, tell us what position you play and uh, why you're excited about tonight's game. I play uh, running back and outside linebacker on the defensive side. And I'm excited about tonight's game because I think we'll crush the blitz and we'll bring it to them. I think we'll dominate the whole game. So how important is a game like this where you, you know a lot of these students that you're going to play against, you see them at various sporting events and things around school. How important is this game to kind of get that bragging right? I think it's really important because I see them throughout my, since junior high, you know, I've been competing with them since I was in future Mustangs through fi from fifth grade through since I'm a senior now. And I think it'll be really important. I'm really excited for the, the game. Now you brought with you uh, Pepo Jimenez, is that correct? Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, so tell us what position you play and why you're excited about tonight's game. I play middle linebacker. I'm excited. Like my brother said, we're going to crush the blitz and just have fun out there. So middle linebacker, I know a little bit about that. Tell, tell me what it feels like when uh, that running back doesn't see you coming and all of a sudden they just crumple underneath your tackle. Yeah, I just, I just love that feeling, you know, taking their heads off and just blowing people up. That's, that's what I do. Now, imagine that feels a little bit different to you as that running back. Yeah. <laughs> so does Pepo hit you like that in practice? No, I hit him like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, good luck, and uh, we hope you guys come away with a victory tonight. All right, thank you. And welcome back. I'm joined with, yes, the one and only Chris Jewell. Not an imitation. The real deal right here, baby. Often imitated, never duplicated, actually. That's true. That's true. Those were some nice interviews you did. You know, That's I'm pretty excited for this game uh, between Sublette and Southwestern Heights. Uh, from what we talked to the coaches, it seems like they're about evenly matched. What did you think? I did, and it was really funny. You know, we talked to the, I was up there when we talked to the Sublette players, or you talked to them, and kind of talking to them while you were interviewing the coach, you know, this is a revenge game for Sublette. And then just listening to you talk to the Southwestern Heights players, you know, again, they're going to go out and dominate and have fun. So I don't know how you pick this game. Well, you know, it, last year it was 54 to 12. Southwestern Heights uh, won that game. They went into Sublette to win that game. But don't let that score fool you because if you remember, there were uh, about five key injuries. By the time we got through that game, I think we were to the third string quarterback. Uh, so injuries played a part in that. And really, it kind of got away. You know, emotionally, when a game does that, you get behind by a certain number of touchdowns, you begin to think, well, it's kind of a done deal. And so I anticipate that being different this time. Well, and the other thing is too you know you you talk to talking with coach Skripsik and he's saying well my starting quarterback has three starting games under his belt from last year he was a freshman so he's a sophomore this year and you go whoa and then when, when you were talking with coach Fox and his players up there he has three seniors but I mean both these teams are really young they are, and, and they're both playing, like Jeremy Ornelas from Sublette is playing quarterback, and that's not his normal position, so he's had to adjust to that this year. The thing that I'm really excited to see the matchup is, is size-wise, it looks like there's some beef on both sides. Speed-wise, we know these two schools always have some speedsters, so I'm interested to see how the quarterback particularly impacts this game. Well, and with the new, well, kind of the newfangled, offense that Southwestern Heights is running. I mean, I think you're going to see a lot of that. But then you talk about Sublette and Coach Fox going back to the traditional eye formation. I mean, they want to slow the game down and, and just run and gun up the middle and pound it out where Southwestern Heights looks like they want to get the ball we don't know where you're going to go this way. You're going to go that way. Well, in the way that they run the double wing, you're going to see a lot of sweeps. Um, you're going to see uh, some pitching. You're going to see some misdirection, uh, some cross bucks and stuff. And then obviously from the sublet side, the thing that an eye does for you is it gives you not only one lead blocker, but it can potentially give you two lead blockers uh, if you decide to let your quarterback carry it on kind of a delayed draw behind them. So it's going to be interesting to see if uh, we both of them have a strong 
certain side of the line. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what the weak side does. Yeah, and, and looking at some of those boys that were in Sublette, the offensive line, they got some good sized guys, but so does Southwestern Heights. So it's going to be interesting linebacker play and defensive back play on both teams I think is going to be key. I agree. I agree. It's going to be an exciting time. First game of the season for both teams. So you'll have those jitters. You'll have that nervousness. We'll find out if they're in shape. We'll find out if their bodies can withstand the adrenaline that wears you out during warmups. We'll see. We'll see if the Southwestern Heights players did enough wheelbarrows. And we'll see if Coach Fox was right that he had plenty of guys throwing up on the sidelines in those first few practices and see if both teams are in shape. One thing's for sure. <laughs> People are going to have to tune in tonight to find out. They'll have to check scores. They'll have to follow it and find out because on Friday night, anything can happen. Yeah, I can't make I'm not even going to try and make a prediction on this one. You're a smart man. I know. Sometimes I, sometimes I do that. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for this inaugural edition of Friday Gridiron Preview. Preview. Yeah. So far, so good, right? We'll find out. We'll see how things go tonight. <laughs>